Namaste guys, Ashish here for Namaste Tech and I have Redmi 3S with me and in this video I'm going to talk about fingerprint sensor and its usability in Redmi 3S. Primarily, I'm going to talk about how you can lock your apps using fingerprint sensor on the Redmi 3S. So let's start with it. So you need to go to settings and then come to lock screen and passwords. So go here and you have an option called a screen lock and fingerprint that you can see right here. So I'm going to tap on this. Now I've already configured my fingerprint here. So I'm not going to show you that part, but these are the options which you get. So you can see turn off lock, change screen lock, lock screen enabled for fingerprint, child mode, there's a child mode that comes along with it that you can use. You've got file explorer lock, then you have fingerprint. So I've got one fingerprint already configured. Then you can add more fingerprint. And then you have option called as apply fingerprint to lock screen, app lock, file explorer and child mode. So this is basically what you will need to enable. Go to app lock, enable it. Once you are done, you really don't have any option here. What you will need to use is the security app that comes along with the MIUI. So go to security and then look for this small badge here. Tap on this, you can confirm and here you can choose which apps should be locked. By default it selects some of the popular apps which are usually used by people and they need to lock it. So it's already available here. If you don't need any of them you can just uncheck it or just tap to check it. All the apps are usually listed here so you don't have to worry about that if any of the app goes missing. Most of the apps are here. Now I'm going to show you the Play Store lock. So I'm going to just lock this here, say add lock. And I should be able to use my fingerprint. No, it still asks for a parent for security reasons. So it's kind of odd though. And I'll say draw again, say okay. Now before I move ahead and show you the unlocking part, there's something you should know. There's a settings icon right at the top corner here. So tap on this and there's some timing features which you can do. So you have got unlock with fingerprint option, show pattern. What you should take a look at is the lock setting. Now if you want an instant lock, you make sure you have got lock after exiting app option enabled, not when your device is locked or something like that. Because if you keep your device right open and somebody tries to access this, he will be able to do that. So change this otherwise it takes a bit of time to lock. It mostly locks when you actually lock your phone. Done that, let's go to Play Store. I'm going to close everything around here. And now if I access Play Store, it says pattern or fingerprint. And there you go, it's unlocked. Not the fastest yet. I'm going to play launch Play Store again. And yes, it asks for fingerprint and it unlocks. This was faster. So guess this is what you need to do. Now, apart from that, I'm gonna show a few more things. So if you go to lock screen and password here, um, you have a couple of more options here. You have got file explorer lock, child mode lock, which you might want to use. You have got lock screen. So if you just don't want to use lock screen lock, you can just disable it so it never asks you but make sure to keep it enabled. Then you have got File Explorer obviously on. And that's pretty much about it. So these are a few extra settings that you should also look at. So that said, I'm quickly summarize this thing. You need to enable Apply Fingerprint to Lock Screen App Lock. That is the first step you need to do. Second, you need to enable the security setting. Go to this badge here. I'm going to draw the pattern. And choose the apps which you want to lock down. That's the second thing. Also make sure to go to settings and choose when do you want it to get logged automatically. These are three important things that you should know. Apart from that, the rest of the things are like very, very casual. So don't need to worry about that. So guys, thanks for watching this video. This was how you can lock down your apps using fingerprint sensor on the Redmi 3S. Make sure to subscribe to our channel, 
hit the like button, share with your friends who just got the Redmi 3S.